Welcome to Hogwarts. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this. The moving staircases from Harry Potter. Somebody asked me to make these, and I'm going to show you how you can make something very similar to this. So welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make very, very simple moving walkway, moving staircase-like things. So this little idea was brought to me by Garrett Sutherland, somebody who commented on the Treehouse video, said, you gotta do revolving stairs from Harry Potter, and I thought that that was such a sweet idea. And uh, so I decided to kind of mess around with it and see if I could, uh, you know, not, obviously can't make exactly what happened, uh, but something very, very similar. Now, this design is actually extremely easy to make, and uh, it's simple, just using uh, a co one controller, really. You could do multiple ones if you wanted to, but I just did one and uh, a sensor, and then that's, that's it, and then you just make your stairs, and... Uh, I mean, look. This is how it. This is how it looks when it's when it's all going. Now, obviously, in the movie, I believe that uh, they kind of walk onto it and then it starts moving. And I try to replicate that, but the way I mean, short of switching a switch, which I didn't want to do, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't work because the sensor, the moment you move out of the way, it will trigger off. And so you have to have it triggered on the whole time in order to get it to continuously do this. Let me just show you how to basically do this because it's pretty easy and uh, I should I'm gonna use wood for the stairs this time to kind of offset everything so first of all what you want to do is obviously have your your area you want to work with so we're just gonna do I did a huge one last time so we're just gonna do a uh, oh that's not gonna work we're just gonna do us like a small area this time just for demonstration purposes okay so what we need to do first because you need to have a sensor, a spot for a sensor on the wall. And then it's as simple as putting down a bearing. Make sure you draw off of the bearing. So, I mean, you could use this for staircase. You could use this for all kinds of other things too, because uh, it's, it would, oh, I put the, actually put the bearing on the wrong side. It'd be very simple to, to get pretty creative with uh with this design because it's not too hard to to work with hopefully you guys have been enjoying the uh, scrap mechanic videos i've been having a blast making them we've done a quite a bit of collab uh co collaborations with other people um and so this game is really uh kind of making me enjoy youtube quite a bit now uh, because it seems like you guys really enjoy it and you guys really enjoy the other people who i've been collabing with and it's just it's just a lot of fun now, what you want to do first, though, is you want to build your staircase uh, first, and then you can build your platforms coming off, and so that way everything is kind of linked up together, and you can get it even. So we're, let's uh, go ahead and ran, run this there, and we're going to want it to spin that way. And then here is the tricky part. And so the cool thing is, is that you can put this down, and you can see that this sensor isn't actually on. But the moment that you put that down, you can now see that the sensor uh, stays on the whole time. So when this swings out, because of the range of the sensor, it's always going to pick up um, something on the staircase, which is kind of cool. So you don't ever really have to worry about not having it on. And so with that simple design right there, now we just hook this up here and then come over to here and uh, let's go ahead and offset this a bit and so all I did was I had it open and then close open and close but then what you do is you offset all the other ones now here's the issue you have to stop right here because if you were to do 90 again right here then it will like it, it'll do a weird loop thing it kinda breaks and so you need to make sure you have this uh, empty right here so there we go. Oh, 
Okay, so you can see that it's too. F it's actually too far away. So uh, we we went one too far out, and so this is uh, this is the other thing that I kind of actually I don't think that this happened once, but I had thought that this might happen, um, and so I I, th I kept them pretty th narrow, and so you can see you can just build as long as you don't put a block down there it'll be fine. So uh, oh, and also we have to connect the bearing up anyway. So all right, so that's good. Let's offset it real fast. And so you can, I mean, there's only, I think, I don't know how many times you'd be able to do this, but there's only so many combinations, essentially, that you could do. All right, so it's it's starting to work already. Oops. There we go. So it still detects it, and then it swings back. And so what you could do is just... Uh, you know, make your wall out here now. Put another staircase down. We'll just put another staircase in another area, just to kind of show you how how we can offset things. And so now, after you've done that first one, you don't need to worry about doing anything with these, other than so you can have these as wide as you want. It's just the first one that really matters. And we could have brought a, a block out from the wall or something if we wanted to, but I kind of wanted it to be concealed. And actually, what I wanted to do was just tuck it away in the wall so it's completely hidden. And it's just like the front part of the sensor popping out. So at that point, you'd, you need seven for that. And so these ones don't really matter. You can make these as wide as you want, as tall as you want. It doesn't really matter what you do. All you need to do is just hook this bearing up to here and then... If you want it to be delayed and look, you know, different, just go ahead and offset it every other one. And I think you have, if you have more of a delay, you can do that as well. But I think I just kept it like this because it just worked better. So there you go. Now you can see everything's kind of moving on its own independently of one another. And that's, that's, that's as simple as it is. It's not much more to it. Um, and I think on this one in here, I even have it turning. And so you can make a nice little turning spiral staircase if you want to. It wouldn't be very difficult to do. It's as simple as putting down your bearing and then just connecting it up. Oh, so this one's going to be stone. That's okay. We'll keep it stone. And it's it's not it's not perfect, I know this guys, but whatever, it's gonna look how it looks just for the sake of the demo of the of the video. Okay, so then all you gotta do from here is make a uh, part that comes out. And the other thing is is that when you are when you are making your staircase, you know you need to make sure that it's that they're far enough away from one another to where they're not going to collide in in their turn. And so like you can see how close that one's coming right there. And so we need to make sure that we have this Let's see if that's going to hit actually. No, we're good. So you need to make sure you have it offset. Okay, so it's running into each other right there. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this one for now and then we can try to make sure that we have it so they're offset from one another alright so this is going to be it's gonna turn in and we're gonna want this to turn out turn into so if we do 90 here it should be fine I believe at least we'll find out in a second yeah Totally fine. Well, we could change the timing up, but you get the idea. It's it's a it's a pretty simple thing to do, and it's all based on the controller, and the timing, and just one sensor. That's all you need is one sensor. Now I think you could improve this design and have multiple sensors going off. And so like let's say when this one swings up there, it would trigger another sensor that would cause another set of stairs to go off and I think though the only problem with that is you might have to do 
some kind of spiral staircase so it always leaves the center on if that makes sense um or you could just do a switch or something like that but i also don't know i don't think you can step on a button and set it off that would be kind of nice uh but anyway yeah it's as simple as this guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial guide video of how to make a offset moving staircase from Harry Potter. Uh, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. It looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going well for you in your life. If you guys enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up button below and feel free to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'll see you next time. And I go.